Usually general conference sometimes falls on April 1st. And what I mean by sometimes is every eight times. Why every eight times? Because that's like seven days out of the week. But since we live in a lunar type of society, it's eight times. Oh my gosh. I know you just said a lot, but I couldn't hear you behind your mustache. <laughs> Guys, welcome to Three Mormons. Shelly's gone. Lauren is here. Lauren is here. Lauren is wonderful. And we're going to talk about General Conference. Yes. General Conference is wonderful. It falls on April 1st and 2nd. Some of you guys might not know what General Conference is. It's when we all get together, sometimes on our living room couches, and we watch the prophet and apostles and general leaders of the church uh, talk to us about whatever they really feel like that Wait, time. Are you saying that Mormons have a living prophet like Moses? Yes, we are. Yes. So what does that mean, Kwaku? Um, so you know how, how like the prophets existed? They exist now. Yeah. That was the fastest <laughs> explanation ever. If you want to learn more, there's a great video that we recorded about the restoration of the gospel and Joseph Smith. We're also going to be releasing a video about the priesthood. That'll really explain everything about living prophets. But to make a long story short, there is a living prophet with 12 apostles in mm -hmm. this dispensation, AKA these times. Wow. One of the coolest things about General Conference is that we can take counsel from our leaders because we have the scriptures and we, we even have old conference talks and sometimes apostles will visit certain areas of the world and give talks there. But having conference is really beautiful because you know you're going to be getting counsel and you can spiritually prepare to hear what the servants of Christ have to say. Another great thing I love about General Conference is there are so many different speakers. It is almost a guarantee something is going to touch you. A lot of times people come to our um, Sunday services and they're a little confused why there's no pastor and why it seems relatively small. Um, well, General Conference is where we get our fill in. You know, mm -hmm. we say we're not televangelists, but let me tell you, General <laughs> we Conference, are. we put those televangelists to shame. So have you ever heard we of have an orchestra, hours? a choir, oh my sure. gosh. My so many leaders. Televangelists, Twelve. your work is amazing. Joel Osteen's got nothing on us. Televangelists, your work is amazing. That sounded like a broken record. But <laughs> I'm just saying, General Conference, the living prophet with his two counselors, 12 apostles, Area Bunch 70, of great women leaders. Just like how it was in the New Testament when Jesus Christ organized his church. However, we have them in our day giving us living revelation. So we believe in scriptures, right? We believe yes. in the Old Testament and the New Testament. However, we're a church of living revelation. Oh, a revelation yeah. that is constantly flowing and that we can, you know, obtain. Really cool. 93 different languages General Conference is translated to once all of the talks and speeches are in print. So literally anyone around the world, not anyone, almost everyone can listen to General Conference. So basically what we're saying is twice a year, a bunch of leaders from our church uh, come together in Salt Lake City, Utah. We have this massive conference center here. It's beautiful. I don't even know how many people can fit in there, but it's probably bigger than a few footballs. Like a 747 a... jet. Okay. It's size. Guarantee it's bigger than as many people could fit in my house. And besides that, it's broadcast to pretty much the entire world. Wow. You can check it out on lbs.org. Also Mormon Hub. It's a great website. They live tweet it. They got some pretty humorous people behind those thumbs, you know, tweeting away. Great stuff. So you can be updated in any way possible through General Conference. All of the talks will also be published uh, with video and also print in our magazines. And Which comes out at an alarmingly fast speed. Yeah. So if you can't yes. watch conference, it's okay. You can two read weeks conference. from then, you can read the whole thing. Why do we have conference? Because we need it. Yeah. Yes. Spiritually fed. It's so important to have the counsel of the servants of Christ. The you other know, thing. Oh, you, uh, sorry. <laughs> we, I, we're, we're, uh, stop. Uh, 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 okay. I, 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 okay, I'll go. I think, no, I'm kidding. Good. <laughs> we're a worldwide church. We have lessons being taught in Uganda at the same time they're, they're being taught in London, the same time they're being taught in Provo, Utah. And so we have the opportunity to all listen to the exact same things at the pretty much exact same time, give or take some time yeah. changes. It's kind of like a status report. Like if you want to know how the church is doing, they're going to let you know through General Conference. Um, reason why I love General Conference so much is kind of what Lauren said before. There are so many moments where the spirit can touch your life and there's going to be so many different messages being you know, spoken of. And so it's really important to stay in tune with the spirit when you're watching General Conference. You know, you could just sit back on your beanbag and just watch it, right? And mm -hmm. just sit there and fall asleep. I've fallen asleep several times during during general conference, but the most uplifting times were when, when I've I, stayed awake. Were when I stayed awake, but I came with a prayer in my heart, hoping yeah. for an answer. Yes. And those are the moments when I am ready to be exposed to the Holy Ghost. 
I think another thing that's really cool about General Conference is sometimes our, our church gets a little bit of a rep for being secretive, you know, because some people think we're very secretive. But General Conference is when the leaders come in front of the entire world on television and just say the things they want yeah. to say. It's so secretive it's, that it's live streamed. It's so secretive it's, so it's live streamed. <laughs> exactly. And literally anyone can watch it. Yeah. Literally anyone. You don't even need cable. Exactly. I hopped on Instagram stories earlier this afternoon, and I was like, you guys need to tell us what's your favorite part about General Conference. And you guys pulled through. Okay. And so, girls. We use guys Are generally. Are really doing this right now? Yes. <laughs> you all pulled through. Okay, um, Lucy Photography 16. I love being able to hear the love of Jesus Christ and Heavenly Father through their prophets and leaders for all of their children. Hmm. Couldn't agree more, Beautiful. Lucy. Shout out to you, Lucy Photography. 16. Says, Lacey Mary said, I just joined the church on July 23rd, 2016. I got also, to see congrats. My... Yeah. It's awesome. So proud of you. Sorry. I got to see my first general conference in October, and it was amazing. The prophet is the mouthpiece of God on earth today, and hearing him speak is unreal. The words hit us all differently and give us each a different revelation in our own lives. That's like what you said. I agree with you, Lacey Mary. I'm so stoked for the next one. Lacey, I'm stoked too. We hope you guys all are. Yeah. That's so cool that she joined. Oh, you um, know her. You know her. At Kate Lady. Catalada, K A D I L A D I, um, said, Faye thing about conference, general conference bingo. Duh. Fun fact, at Kate Lady actually taught me on her mission, and she's the coolest person ever. She so. introduced him to bingo. No. Yes. yes. In a resting home. Kwaku actually is like Benjamin mm. Bunch. I, I, he ages rose backwards. Down. They're lying. They're lying to you on camera. You know what? <laughs> I, got, I got a great way to close this. Yeah. Let's name all 15 apostles. President Thomas S. Monson, President Henry, Henry B. Eyring, and President Dieter F. Uchtdorf. And then the president the of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles is Russell M. Nelson, followed by Dallin A. Jokes, Jokes, followed by M. Russell Ballard, Jeffrey Ro O'Holland, then Robert, Robert D. Hales. Hales. Got that one. And then we got... Elder David A. Bednar. David A. Bednar, D. Todd Christopherson, Quinton L. Cook, Neil A. Anderson, Razban, Redlin, Stevenson. General Conference is amazing. Watch it. Um... Kwaku, I love. Ooh, did it, did it, did it. This one says, Kwaku, I love you. Oh, this. Oh, these were the girls that responded to my Instagram Don't stories. Read those. That's not. That's oh not, man, here we go. Uh, <laughs> Mabin Combs. Kwaku is such a cutie. Hard eye emoji. And you guys are awesome. Oh, you have helped me a lot to understand more about the church since I recently that's actually got baptized. A good one. Hey, that's beautiful. You should date her. Um, it's probably a guy. Oh, oh, oh. This is in regards to y'all ladies. Where are you at? You Quaku lovers. She said, I'm here, crying emoji, laughing three times. times. Three.